let's start seated on a block this morning. Today, we are going to work with the energy of the full moon that happened this week and have a nice slow yin-like practice. So come onto your block. You can scoot yourself forward so your sits bones are right at the front of the block, your pelvis sort of spills over and the legs can relax on the floor. If the legs cannot relax on the floor, bring blocks or bolsters or something underneath the legs to support the legs. And just take a few breaths here, arriving onto the mat. If you've been doing something before this or you have something to do after that, this, see if you can just take a few breaths here and tune into the effect of the breath on the physical body. So as you inhale, perhaps you can feel this lift in the crown. As you exhale, becoming aware of the legs connected to earth. And we'll start by getting a little bit more comfortable on the block. You can bring your hands to the top of the legs and just take yourself in a big circle around the hips. And then come to the center, either in the front of the back, pause and change the direction of the circle. And then find your way back to the center. And just take another big full breath in. If you can sense that lifting of the crown, keep it. And then as you exhale, feeling the ground below you. On the next inhale, we'll let our hands float up overhead. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms towards the ceiling and just take a big stretch here. Let the shoulders come down away from the ears. And on your next exhale, draw the hands down in front of the chest, taking a little seated um, cat here, pressing the belly button towards the spine, rounding the back, looking down at the feet. On the inhale, letting the hands float up overhead. And then a few more like that, just moving on your exhale, letting the spine make a little C-shaped curve, looking down at the feet, pressing into the hands, and then inhale, rise up. One more like that. And then let the hands float back up. We're gonna release the hands. You can bring the fingertips all the way down to the mat in a little spider. And then inhale the right hand up over to the left ear. And then gently just letting the weight of the arm take the head over, not using the muscles of the arm. Just let your neck start to open up here. If you want a little bit more here, you can lift that left hand, brighten the left fingers. Take another full breath in. And as you exhale, walk your hand to the back of the head, look down at the thigh. Getting into the back side of the scalenes. And then we're going to turn the head to look up at the ceiling. And up there in the front there of the neck. Take another full breath in. Full breath out. And then turn the head to look forward. Release both hands back to the mat. Roll the chin towards the chest. And then roll the head back up to neutral. Go ahead and lift the left hand up. Bring it over to the right ear. And then gently letting the head come over the left with the breath here. And then again, if you want a little bit more, lift the hand, lift the right hand, brighten the fingers. And then gently start to turn the head to look down towards the ground at the thigh. With the weight of the arm, give the neck a little stretch, but not trying to muscle anything here. And then slowly turn the head towards the ceiling. And then go ahead and look forward, release both hands to the mat, release the chin towards the chest, and then roll the head back up. We'll take a little twist here, inhale, hands up, turning towards the right, bring the left hand to the top of the right thigh, take a full breath in, and then press the hand into the thigh, thigh into the hand. 
As you exhale, maybe you can go a little bit deeper, walking those fingertips back behind you. One more breath here, exhaling a little bit more deeply. Use the hand against the thigh to give yourself a little bit more. And then inhale, let the hands float up over head and then turning towards the left, right hand to the top of the left thigh. Get nice and tall here and then exhale, twist. And perhaps you can walk the fingertips back and come a little bit deeper on the exhale. Go ahead and take another full breath in, full breath out. And then go ahead and inhale, the hands come up overhead, wiggle out those fingers, give yourself some jazz hands. So you bring the hands down in front of you, we're gonna tuck the thumb inside the palm and make a fist with the fingers over the thumb and just roll out the wrists. And take a circle in each direction. All right, and give yourself a shake, a little movement. We're gonna come off the block and into tabletop. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll just take a few rounds of our cat child's, pow, child's pose cow flow here. So take a full breath in neutral. As you exhale, untuck the feet, round the back, drop the head, find cat, draw the belly button towards the spine. And then press yourself back all the way into child's pose. Let your head rest on the mat. If it comes down, take a full breath in, full breath out. On your next inhale, come forward into tabletop. Look forward, find cow, tuck the toes, drop the shoulder blades towards each other. And when you're ready to exhale, reverse the movement, untuck the toes, round the back, find cat, drop the head towards the mat. And then press yourself back into child's pose. Full breath in, full breath out. A few more, just like that. Inhaling forward, finding cow, tucking the toes, drawing the shoulder blades together in the back, dropping the heart towards the mat. On the exhale, finding cat, rounding the back, drawing the belly button towards the spine, and then pressing yourself back into child's pose. Go ahead and find two more on your own with your own breath count, moving maybe a little bit slower or a little bit faster, but using your own breath. Exhaling into cat, back into child's pose, take a full breath in child's pose, full breath out, and then inhaling forward in the cow. And then the next time you find yourself coming into child's pose, we're just going to stay there for a few breaths. So you can bring a block under your head if your head doesn't come all the way down. And just pause here. Let the tailbone relax towards the heels. Take another full breath in. See if there's anything else you can give up to gravity here. Full breath out. And then inhale yourself back forward into tabletop. Here we're gonna take any juicy movement that feels good. So maybe you wanna make a hip circle. Maybe you'd like to make a figure eight, a little washing machine or a few more cat and cow. Just take whatever movement feels good in your body. Make sure you do it in both directions, both sides and then find your way back to your neutral tabletop. Here in your neutral tabletop, we'll go ahead and lift the right leg, activate the right foot, and then bring the right foot, the ball of the right foot to the mat, press into the hands, and just press into the ball of the foot, opening up the back of the leg. With one more full breath in, full breath out. And then release yourself forward back into that three-legged tabletop. Take that right leg all the way out to the right. Set the sole of the foot onto the mat so that the toes are pointing the same direction as your fingertips. And then here you can just pulse a little backwards and forwards, nice and slow.
Go ahead and take another full breath in here. Release the breath. Find your way back to the neutral tabletop. And then we're gonna take that right foot all the way over. Ball of the right foot comes to the floor on the other side of the left leg. And then you can turn and look towards that foot. So you're getting a little side body stretch here. Just a few breaths. And then go ahead and release the head, release the leg, bring the knee up right leg and taking a circle with the knee to roll out the hip joint. Take the circle in both directions. And then set that right knee down back on the mat, back into your tabletop. And here again, taking whatever movement you'd like to or transition, whatever your body wants or needs right now. Take it evenly on both sides and then find your way back to tabletop. We'll go ahead and lift that left leg up, activate the left foot. So really flexing the foot, bring just the ball of the left foot down to the mat and then using the arms, press in. Take another breath here. And then go ahead and lift that left foot out, bring it over to the side. Hello, bring your sole of your foot all the way down to the mat. So toes are pointed the same direction as the head. And then you can use your hands to pulse here a little bit forward and back. Take another full breath here, really stretching into Whatever feels good here. And then go ahead and lift that left leg up, bring it all the way over across the right. And then gently looking towards the foot, getting a little side body stretch here. And then we'll go ahead and bring that leg back in neutral, bend the left knee and take the knee in a circle. Take the circle both directions. And then both knees back to the mat into tabletop. Any movement that feels good here. And then from our neutral tabletop, we're gonna transition to standing. So we're gonna come through puppy pose. Activate the fingers, strongly pointing the index finger forward, opening up the fingers, pressing into the fingertips and knuckles between the fingers to take some weight off the wrist. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, bring the arm bones alongside the ears out of your peripheral vision. And then gently straighten one leg, bring one heel towards the mat. Take a full breath there. And then bend both knees, straighten the other leg, bring the other heel towards the mat, take a full breath there. And then just gently walking your dog in whichever way feels great. Letting the head hang here and really utilizing the hands and the fingers to push the tailbone back the direction of the heels, opening up the heart towards the mat, letting the shoulder blades come together in the back. Find your way here and then just gently find stillness in downward dog, just for a breath. And we'll start to walk our hands towards the feet and find forward fold at the back of the mat. Once you arrive, you're welcome to clasp onto opposite elbows, let the head hang, and then just gently take yourself side to side. And then back to center, let the head hang here for a breath. See if you can release the chin towards chest even more. One more big full breath in. And as you exhale, release the hands. We'll roll up the back very gently and slowly, lower back, middle back, upper back. 
Head and neck come last, hands rise up, clasp one wrist. Take yourself over to the other side. Inhale, float up, pass the other wrist, other side. And then come back to stand. Open yourself up into star pose, feet wide apart. Bring the heels in, toes out, brighten the fingers, take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, coming into a very gentle goddess pose here, letting yourself have a little movement, soften, see if you're relaxing the tailbone down and then float back up. We're just gonna get the, make sure we have our stance correct. So when you come down, make sure that you're not leaning forward and sticking your bum out. Make sure you're trying to have the shoulders over the hips, knees over the ankles, and then back up. Getting our stance here. And just note where you're most comfortable as you come in and out. Star pose, goddess. Go ahead and take one more, just to make a little muscle memory. See if you can stay there for a breath, find a little movement. And then back up. We're gonna bring everything back to center and find a little crescent moon. Leaning over to one side, inhaling up, and then leaning over to the other side. And then inhaling up. Bring the hands to heart center and just take a full breath in, full breath out. So we're going to work through the moon salutation. And I'm going to invite you to have your block handy at the front of the mat. Take your time to get there. We're gonna be coming um, through a mandala flow. And we're just gonna go through it a few times here, warming up the body this morning. So start by rock and rolling on your feet, lift your toes and then place the toes down on the mat. Soften the knees, relax the buttocks, shake your tail feathers out. Squeeze the arms up to the ears, the shoulders up to the ears rather, then squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back and then drop them down, find Tadasana. On your inhale, let your hands float up overhead. Here we are in our crescent moon, fingertips together. Take a full breath in and then lean over to the right. Inhale back to center and then lean over to the left. And then back to center. We're gonna step our feet out in that star pose where we just were. So we've already measured our length. Heels are in, toes out. Arms come out alongside the body. Fingertips are bright. On your exhale, goddess. And here in goddess, we're gonna be here a few breaths so you can find a little movement, a little softness. And then settle in, relax the tailbone. Take another full breath in, full breath out. See if you can sink any deeper. And then on your next inhale, rise back up. Let the hands come out to the side, star pose. Full breath in, full breath out. We're gonna turn the right heel out so it's parallel with the short end of the mat. Turn the left toes towards the other short end of the mat. And here we are in coming into triangle pose. Reach towards the front leg with the toes pointed forward and then tip your teapot, find your triangle. And in triangle, opening the heart forward. And if you wanna have a little bit more for the neck today, you can bend the elbow, bring the palm to the back of the head and press the head into the hand, hand into the head. Take another breath here. And then release the hand from the back of the head, soften the front knee. Coming into warrior two, just for a transition here, finding warrior two with the knee bent, and then turning towards that bent leg, finding high lunge. Now you're gonna wanna walk the foot over so you're steady. The front foot might need to come over towards the right. Take a full breath in. And then exhale the belly onto the front side, fingertips to the mat. If you need blocks to the fingertips, grab them, lift the floor. From the high lunge, we're gonna lower the back knee and find a low lunge. 
here in low lunge, you can untuck the toes. Let the pelvis drop towards the mat. On your next exhale, maybe letting sinking in a little deeper. And then inhale, hands floating up, low lunge. And letting the shoulders come down away from the ears. I'm just pausing here. On your next exhale, we're gonna bring the belly back onto the top of the thigh, fingertips on the mat. Here's where we're gonna be real careful with our feet. We're gonna to turn towards the long end of the mat, walking with our hands, turning our feet and legs as we go to find Skandasana, ninja pose. Now, here's where we're gonna need the block. Okay, so you can use your block to get there. The heel may be lifted, or maybe you can get the heel onto the mat. That's not so important, the heel of the bent leg. The heel of the straight leg is on the mat and the toes are pointing towards the ceiling. And then here again, see if you're leaning forward a lot, if you can find balance here. So using the block at first, but maybe eventually bringing the hands to heart center. Take a full breath in, full breath out. And then we're gonna use the block of the floor again and come into our Malasana squat so you can bring both legs in, see if you can find your yoga squat. And here again, tailbones relaxing towards the mat, hearts opening forward, hands can be together in prayer. If you have any wrist problems, you can bring a fist into a palm, keep the wrist straight. Take another full breath in, see if you can relax around the tailbone. Now we're gonna to start to shift the weight onto the right foot and let the left leg go long. So I'm mirroring you as best as I can. If I call out wrong, right or left, just look at the screen, see what you can adjust. Bringing the hands into prayer if you can to find balance or just keeping your hands on the block. Either way is great. Take another full breath in, full breath out. We're gonna bring the hands back down. And then once again, walking ourselves now towards that bent knee, taking the feet with us and then finding a low lunge. So you wanna step that right foot forward and then letting the pelvis sink. Finding comfort here, finding a wide foundation. And when you're ready, inhaling hands floating up. Let the pelvis sink down and find your low lunge. Again, the full breath in, full breath out. And then go ahead and let the hands frame the feet, tuck the back toes, finding ourselves in our high lunge here. So the ball of the foot is actively pressing into the mat, the ball of the back foot. And then when you're ready, floating up, high lunge. Take a breath here. And then we're gonna turn that back heel down, open the arms up, warrior two, just for a moment. And then straighten that bent knee, reach forward, finding our way to triangle. Taking a few breaths here in triangle, opening the heart towards the front. And then go ahead and soften that knee, come back up to stand, turn the toes towards the long end of the mat, come onto the balls of the feet, lift the heels. So your toes are pointing 45 degrees out. Take a full breath in and then exhale into goddess. Here we are, back around the mandala. We can take some softness here, take some movement, anything that feels good. Take another breath and then float back up to stand, star pose. And then we'll bring everything back into center, find crescent. We're gonna lean over to the right, full breath in, full breath out. Cleaning up in the middle and over to the left, full breath in. Pull a breath out, and then back up to center. Bring the hands to the heart center. 
Take a breath there, pressing the thumbs into the sternum. And then we're gonna go around the other direction and we're gonna add one more little pose into our moon salutation. On your inhale, let the hands float up overhead. This time we're gonna lean over to the right first, the left rather if I'm marrying you, up to the center and lean over to the other direction. Inhale back up, take the hands wide, star pose. Shining out that light from the heart center in all directions. Brighten the fingers, make sure that your heels in, toes out as you bend the knees, find your way to goddess. Find some softness in goddess here. And then inhale back up to star pose. This time we're gonna turn the heel of the Left foot out, turn the right toes towards the short end of the mat. So the back foot is parallel to the short end of the mat. And then finding our way to triangle, reaching towards the front leg and then finding your way back to triangle. We were just here, we're going back around the opposite direction that we came before. And remember you can always take this shoulder opening, pressing the head into the hand with the elbow bent, or you could have the hands extended towards the ceiling, perhaps even turning the head to look towards the ceiling. Take another breath here. And then we're gonna start to tip ourselves up, soften the knee as you come, find your way to warrior two just for a moment, and then we're gonna bring the back heel up and find our way to high lunge, actively pressing into the ball of the back foot. Take a full breath in, let yourself sink in a little deeper, full breath out. On your next exhale, go ahead and bring the hands to the mat, belly to the thigh. This time we're gonna step the back foot in about halfway and find pyramid. So we just have a small triangle with the legs and then letting the front body just melt over the front leg. If your hands don't come to the mat, grab your blocks, lift the floor. And see if you can stay here for a few breaths and just let the head dangle, let the front body dangle over the front thigh. Take another breath here. And then we're gonna gently bring the weight onto the front foot, hop that back foot back, and then lower the back knee, finding our way back into that low lunge. We can untuck the toes, Find your foundation, and when you're ready, lift the arms and let the pelvis sink. Make sure that your knee is not going past the ankle. Walk the foot forward. If you feel jiggity side to side, bring the foot out towards the edge of the mat. Take a wider stance. Take another breath here. And then we'll bring the hands back down. Now here's where you might want your block as you turn your feet and your body towards the long end of the mat, finding that Skandasana ninja pose. The back heel might be down, might be lifted. The hands might be on the block, or you might be able to bring them into the heart center. Stay active in these toes that are pointed towards the ceiling. Take another breath here. And then we're gonna start to move into our Malasana. So maybe you can get there without the block. Maybe you want to use the block. Maybe hands are on the floor. See if you can find your way into your yoga squat. And keep letting the tailbone sink down towards the earth. Opening the heart towards the front. We're going to start to shift the weight onto the other foot. So coming into our skandasana on the other side. Bring the weight onto the left leg using the block as needed, extending the right leg long, right toes towards the ceiling, finding balance here or using the block. So this can be a little bit on the knees. If it feels like too much on the knees, an alternative is just to take a wide leg forward fold. So you can find another breath here. And then again, we'll bring the hands down and we're gonna walk towards the left, towards the bent knee and find our low lunge. So you're gonna wanna lift that foot up and bring it forward. 
Find your stance for your low lunge and then untuck the back toes when you feel steady here. Just lift the hands towards the ceiling. Let the hips sink down. Make sure the knee's not going past an ankle. Take another breath here. And then as you exhale, bring the hands back down to frame the foot, belly onto the thigh. We're gonna tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, finding our way to pyramid, hopping that back foot about halfway forward, and then letting the front body just dangle like as if it's water spilling over the front leg. Finding your way to pyramid here just for a few breaths. Take another full breath in. Exhale, see if there's anything else you can release. And then we'll soften the front knee. Step the back foot back, finding our way back into that high lunge. So when you're ready and steady, lift the hands. Find your way to high lunge. Stay active in the back foot. Taking just a breath here. And then turning the back heel down, opening up warrior two. And then straightening that front bent knee, reaching towards the front foot and finding your way into triangle. And once again, taking whatever arm position you want to take here for your triangle. Take another breath here. And once again, we're going to soften that front knee, tip ourselves back up, turn the toes towards the long end of the mat, come onto the balls of the feet, heels and toes out, star pose. Take a big, deep, full breath in. And as you exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, find goddess. Relaxing into the goddess, relaxing the tailbone down. Take another breath here. And then press yourself all the way back up to stand, shining brightly out from the heart center. And then we're going to bring everything in and find our way to crescent. Lean over to one side. And then up and over to the other side. Well done. Bring yourself back to center. Palms together at the heart center. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. We'll take the feet wide apart one more time. Heels in, toes out to start. Coming just one more time from our star pose to our goddess. And finding some softness here. Letting the tailbone relax and then pressing back up. This time we'll turn the heels out so the outside edges of the feet are parallel with the outside edges of the mat. Interlace the hands behind the body and then draw the knuckles towards the heels, towards the floor and open up the front body and the shoulders. And then from here, we'll take a nice forward fold. And you can extend the first fingers that helps you keep the palms together and just Gently allowing the head to drop towards the floor, allowing the hands to rise towards the ceiling, allowing the heart to be open. Take a few breaths here. And just letting gravity do all of the work. See so if you can find another breath here. And to come out of this, we're gonna soften the elbows, soften the knees, float back up to find our star pose. Nice big breath in, heel toe our feet in, heels and toes out, find your goddess pose. Little softness, dropping the, the tailbone towards the mat. Float back up, heel to the feet in one more time, and we'll come into our malasana. So from nice tall place, bringing the hands together, and then bend the elbows, bend the knees, find your way into your yogic squat. Take a breath here and see if you can relax 
any tension around the low back, the bum. And then we're gonna plop ourselves down so you can use the block or your hands or just roll back. All right, well done. From here, we're gonna just come into staff pose, get nice and tall. And with the block, we're gonna be squeezing the block, making this L shape with our hands and squeezing the block. So squeezing the block like this, all, all four fingers will be there, but you're holding the block with this L shaped hand. Rock a little side to side, knees can stay softly bent and then take the block up overhead. We're gonna take a forward fold here. Let the shoulders come away from the ears. We're gonna take five breaths to get down. Squeeze the block and then exhale forward very gently. Squeeze the block, exhale a little bit forward. Squeeze the block, exhale forward. Two more. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, lean forward. Keep squeezing the block, exhale forward. Now perhaps you can come to bring the block to the soles of the feet. Perhaps you're just bringing the hands to the soles of the feet. Or perhaps that's not quite available so your fingers are just alongside the legs. Whatever it is, we're just gonna take a forward fold here. Allow the crown of the head to relax here and just take a few breaths. One more big full breath in and see if we can drop anything else to gravity as you exhale. And then we're gonna bring the hands alongside the legs and push ourselves back up to seated. From here, we're gonna lift our left leg up. You can bring the left leg onto the forearms or perhaps you can bring the foot into the crook of the elbow and interlace the hands. So we're just gonna roll out this hip joint. So whether or not you have your hands wrapped around the leg or you're just balancing on your forearms, it doesn't matter. You're getting the same benefits. Just rock and roll. Take a few more breaths here. And we're gonna take this leg over the extended leg, set the foot on the mat. So the sole of the foot is on the mat and then take your right arm, same arm as the extended leg, reach forward and then wrap that right arm around the left leg. We're gonna take another twist here. You're welcome to bring your hand up, your free hand up, get nice and tall and then set it down behind you and just tiptoe those fingers back as you squeeze the bent knee towards you and take a twist here towards the left. Or if you're on the other leg, it's towards the direction of the bent leg. Getting nice and tall with each inhale and as you exhale, maybe walking the fingers back a little bit more. On an inhale, we'll start to unwind ourselves forward. Go ahead and lift that bent knee, extend the leg long. Lifting the right leg up, again, either bringing it to the forearms or bringing the foot into the crook of the elbow and wrapping your arms around it. Either way, same benefits. Rock and roll it. Take another few breaths here. And then we're gonna start to release the leg, bring the sole of the foot, the other side of the extended leg. Whichever arm is for is whichever leg is extended is the same arm. We're gonna reach forward and then wrap that left arm around the right leg. Squeeze the bent knee towards the chest. You can inhale the right arm up. 
This makes you feel a little bit taller and then bring the hand behind you and coming into a twist here. So you can finger, um, tip to the fingers behind you and then just squeezing the knee towards the chest as you come a little more deeply into the twist. Your full breath in, one last exhale here. Maybe you can go a little deeper. And then inhale, unwind yourself, unwind the legs. We'll take both legs out in front of us one more time. Hands on top of the kneecaps. And without, with just relaxing the legs, no leg muscle, use your hands to flip flop the legs. Just moving the bones and the joints a little bit there. And then bend the knees and roll back into bridge pose. Hug the knees towards the chest to start. Set the spine down in fetal pose. And then set the feet down, finding bridge. We're going to take the block between the thighs. And today for our bridge pose, we're going to squeeze the block. So really activating the legs. Make sure that you can, your heels are close. So you can touch your Achilles. You can... Tuck the shoulder blades down under you and we'll use the upper arm bones, fingertips pointed to the ceiling to take some of the weight. Take a full breath in here and then as you exhale, dropping the belly button towards the spine, start squeezing the block, press into the feet, lift the pelvis, roll up onto the shoulders, walk the shoulders together, take some of the weight off the, off the shoulders with the upper arms. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, keep squeezing the block, roll back down, gently, 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 and set the pelvis on the floor. We'll take one more like that. On the next exhale, let the belly come towards the spine, squeeze the block, lift the pelvis, roll up onto the shoulders, walk the shoulder blades together, lift the pelvis a little bit more, keep squeezing the block, and then exhale, rolling down, upper back, middle back. See if you can keep the pelvis lifted, set each vertebra down separately. Go ahead and remove the block. This time we're gonna come into a bridge for five breaths. We wanna still keep that sort of activation, that sense of squeezing the block. So not squeezing the legs together, but just activating as if that block is still there. So the leg bones are still nicely spaced and not in the belly. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, drop the belly button towards the spine. Imagine that block is there. Squeeze in the block, lift the pelvis. And then this time you can perhaps walk the shoulder blades down and then interlace the hands behind the back. Press into the feet, lift the pelvis. And taking a few breaths here, keep pressing into the feet. Lift the pelvis. Another full breath in. And if you have the hands interlaced, go ahead and bring them back along the side body. Use those upper arm bones to take some of the weight as you roll back down. And then take the feet out as wide as the mat. Let the knees come to one side. And then inhale them up to center, let the knees come over to the other side. That's windshield wipering out the legs. All right, and then come back into your fetal pose, rock and roll. Let the low back relax on the mat. Maybe you even feel like It'd be nice to take a little happy baby here. Yogi's choice, you want to stay in fetal pose or come into a happy baby with the tailbone even lifted more. Just finding a couple breaths here. And then we're going to bring everything back to center. We're going to take the block or the bolster underneath the pelvis. So from here in your bridge print pose, press into the feet, lift the pelvis, 
bring the block underneath the sacrum. Make sure that it's not on the lower lumbar. If you feel it on your spine, move it down the direction of the feet. We just want that back flat part of the pelvis to be supported. Roll your shoulder blades open and then draw one knee in and then the other. We're gonna come into a virtual legs at the wall. So if you wanna pause the video and move your mat towards the wall to take a real legs at the wall, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, go ahead and take your feet up to the wall, up to the virtual wall, up to the ceiling, the top wall. And then here, sort of find your balance. So we don't want our legs to lean forward. That's gonna be a lot of work. So we want the legs to lean back so they feel like they're just stacked. This is a position where gravity is doing all the work. It's one of the most profound positions in yoga. So take any movement here that you want. If you want to roll out the ankles, if you need to bend the knees a little bit to find that balance where it doesn't feel like you're holding and working. And then check in with your head and neck. You can move the head side to side a little bit. And then see if you can just relax into the pose here. And just letting everything reverse direction in the legs. And taking your awareness through the joints of the body from the toes, relaxing the joints of the toes, relaxing the joints of the ankles, relaxing the knees. And then relaxing those hip joints where the femur is plugged into the pelvis. And if you'd like to, you can close off the eyes here. We'll be here another moment. So if you wanna make any changes to make yourself more comfortable, Go ahead and make those adjustments and then come back into the pose. And then we'll take another body scan this time from the top of the head. Letting the eyes relax back and sink into the skull. Relaxing the tongue and the mouth. Relaxing the throat. Relaxing the collarbones and the shoulders. Relaxing the arms and the fingers. On an exhale, really letting the belly sink in towards the back body. And then as you bring your awareness down into the area of the pelvis, Relaxing the muscles of the pelvis, relaxing the buttocks. And then see if you can deepen the inhalation into this relaxed space. We'll take a few more breaths here in this cooling inversion. And gently bending the knees towards the chest. Take a breath there with the knees Coming towards you, thighs on the belly. And then bringing the feet back to the mat. Feeling the foundation of the feet before pressing into the feet, lifting the pelvis, removing the back, rolling the back down onto the mat. From here, once again, you can come into your fetal pose. Rock and roll on the back, and then we'll all come into that happy baby. So either piece fingers around the big toes or reach into the outside edges of the feet. 
And having a play here, extending through one leg, other, or just rocking side to side, or just trying to draw the knees towards the armpit and lift the sacrum. Are you ready for our Shavasana? So just extending the low back on the mat through happy baby. And then find your way back to center. Release the hold of the feet, hug the knees towards the chest. Go ahead and grab your bolster, your pillow, bring it underneath the thighs, above the knees. And then we'll extend the legs out to find our way towards Shavasana. You can rock onto one shoulder, tuck the shoulder blade, allow that hand to shine towards the ceiling with the arm extended, and then rock onto the other shoulder, tuck that one in. The palms are shining towards the ceiling. You can close off the eyes, let the eyes sink into the skull. And if it serves you, you can follow the sound of my voice for a full body relaxation. I relax my toes, my feet, and my ankles. My toes, my feet, and my ankles are relaxed. I relax my calves, my knees, and my thighs. My calves, my knees, and my thighs are relaxed. I relax the muscles both inside and outside of the pelvis. The whole of the pelvis is relaxed. I relax my belly. I relax my low back. I relax my heart. I relax my middle back. I relax my shoulders. I relax my upper back. The whole of my torso and back are relaxed. I relax my shoulders, my upper arm bones, my lower arm bones, my hands, and my fingers. My hands, my fingers, the whole of my arms and shoulders is relaxed. I relax the throat, the neck, the jaw. The throat, the neck, and my jaw are relaxed. I relax my face, my tongue, and my eyes. My face, my tongue, and my eyes are relaxed. I relax the mind. I relax my mind. The mind and the body are relaxed. And if you're somewhere where you can just stay in this full body relaxation, I invite you to just stay here as long as you wish. If you're somewhere where you have to wake up, go ahead and just very gently and slowly start by giving the toes a little wiggle and then maybe the fingers a little wiggle. And we'll bring this full body and mind relaxation with us into the rest of our day. So gently waking up the feet and the toes and staying conscious of how different it feels to come into waking from a state of full relaxation. Starting to roll out the wrists and the ankles and keeping that sense of full body and mind relaxation. Walking the feet together, taking the arms up overhead, 
and stretching out from fingertip to toe tip before bringing the knees towards the chest, wrapping the arms around the knees, hugging the knees towards the chest, rocking a little side to side. And then turning onto one side or the other, using the arm as a pillow and bringing this sense of relaxation with you as you become more conscious. And when you're ready, leaning into whatever arm you're not leaning on, um, laying on rather, and pressing yourself up to find that comfortable seat. Once you're seated comfortably, just taking a few breaths here to integrate this sense of relaxation into the waking world. And then bring your hands together at the heart center. Drop the chin towards the chest to honor your own efforts this morning. And then lift the head, bring the hands to the third eye center, thumbs between the eyebrows as we acknowledge all the yogis and yoginis who practice for thousands of years to share the science of yoga with us. And we all find our light shining a little brighter this morning. Namaste.